welcome to another unboxing video outside the box. That's right, I'm not going to be unboxing this bad boy here inside my computer room. No, I'm outside here enjoying nature and seeing what Funko gave me here with this Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty, Star Wars 40th Edition Smuggler's Bounty out here at Brightwater Park. You know, this place would be a pretty good place to film an unboxing video for the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back because of, you know, Yoda, Dagoba. But we gotta wait three years until they kick one of those things out. But anyway, with that said, let's go ahead and pop this puppy open, see what's inside. As we can see, Princess Leia's on the outside of the box, being that she passed away here recently. Rest in peace there, Carrie Fisher. Hopefully there's a cool Princess Leia item in here, maybe a, maybe a Hakari figurine of her, that'd be kind of cool. Now, if we listen, the pin is not moving and rattling around. Remember the last two bounties I got? They had the pin that came loose of the packaging? Yeah, this one here, I'm glad to hear that it's not loose. Let's get this thing open and see what's inside. Okay. As we can see, we have a Looks like that's a Luke Skywalker patch, 40th anniversary edition there. And hey, look, it's a Chewbacca pin. Check these things out. Now, Funko did show with a little previews of what the main Funko Pop item is, which is Luke on a land speeder. The other items have got no idea what they are. And, oh, here we go. As you can see, we got Luke, we have some pop home item and the clothing item uh is it socks i want to do it what it's my kid Hi. ladies and gentlemen they can't see you get out get out so they can see are they Band. socks bands 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 the wrist bands what are they sweat bands Okay, I can see them going all retro back in time to the 70s when sweatbands and this type of crap was uh, common and popular, but seriously, I thought at least the shirt. I, I, I understand not getting a shirt because the pop item is so huge, you know, kind of like when we got the, uh, the Han on the Tauntaun. It came with socks. It didn't come with a shirt, so that's understandable, but maybe they wanted to go retro back in time and they gave us these things. So there's that. They can't even see you. Yes, I know. It's like Cousin It. You can't see her face. Anyway. <laughs> um, sweatbands. Okay. Let's go check this out. Oh, pop salt and pepper shakers? <laughs> Yay! It's Han, Solo, and Greedo. They're... The guy who got shot. Yeah. Who, who shot first, kid? Uh, was it Han or Greedo? Who shot first? Han. I know, everybody thinks Han shot first, but it's supposed to be Greedo. But when they did the special effects, they messed up on it and made it look like Han shot first. That's why everyone's like, oh, Han shot first. Whatever. These are kind of cool looking. Careful, careful, careful there. Now, drop them in. They look like pops, of course, because of Funko and everything, right? But they're little ceramic made in China salt and pepper shakers of Greedo and Han Solo. I made a hole in his head. That's right. You can take the thing off the back of his head and pour your salt and pepper right into their noggin. Now, if these were like little miniatures, like the Hikari figures, or like little figurines, that'd be kind of cool. You could have like a little diorama set. So, salt and pepper shakers. I don't know, maybe there might be some diehard fans that'll be like, sweet, we got something we can put on our dinner table. But it's kind of, I don't know, it's like, eh. Now here they are on the back. It's kind of cool. It's 3D model, little sculptures of them there, but... Reality. I don't know, it's... As I said, maybe some diehard fan out there will get a kick out of these things. And as we can see here, this is the reason why I got this thing. It's Luke Skywalker with his speeder. It's a big Funko Pop. Kind of like that Han on the Tauntaun, as I said, I got a couple uh, couple boxes ago. And... I don't have a preview uh, guide 
for what's coming out with the next Smuggler's Bounty. Remember, I would get those little guides that would show, here's what's coming out next, or the production for what went into making these. I didn't get one with this box. What the heck? Don't drop it. <laughs> drop it in the creek. Oh, no. Oh, look. Now your vehicle's destroyed. There we go. Looks pretty cool. That'd be kind of cool if they actually had room on the back where you could put like an R2 unit or something like that. R2 and the base doesn't come loose from the speeder, so you can't run around the house playing with it. Aww. But, but you know, that's that's pretty cool. I, I like the Funko Pop item here. I really like this. The other items are kind of meh. Meh. Oh, well. I don't, I, I don't know what's coming out with the next box and stuff because there was no preview for what was coming out next. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. Since there's nothing here for a preview, I don't know what to say what's going to go on for uh, next time. So, hmm. On the entrance. Oh, well. They'll probably show something here within the next month or so just to kind of get people enticed about it there. Now, I'm kind of upset that there's no Princess Leia item in here since Carrie Fisher passed away here recently. I think that with these boxes here that they're put together, they're designed months, you know, way in advance here. So maybe they were putting this thing together here back in maybe, I don't know, October, November of 2016, way before uh, Carrie Fisher passed away, which is why there's no Carrie Fisher Princess Leia item in here. Maybe with a future box, they might do a nice little tribute thing, which would be kind of cool, but we'll have to see. That's our unboxing video outside of the box. Hey, cash on. And cash on. We're not geocaching. All right, let's get out of here.